Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about the elective paper for second year BSc students that is aquarium fish keeping. So in this session mainly we will be discussing about common characteristics and sexual dimorphism in aquarium fishes that is sword tail and goldfish. So the objectives are you will be coming to an how you will be having a broad idea of how the fishes are rare and fishes are kept and also different common characteristics and sexual dimorphism of aquarium fishes that is sword tail and goldfish so the outcome of this study here we are having the common characteristics of the aquarium fish that is guppy and molly that will be clear and also the sexual dimorphism of these two fishes. So let's begin with this session. So previously you should have an idea about what do you mean by morphology, what do you mean by sexual dimorphism and aquarium and fishes. So let's begin with this session. So first one that is the sword tail. So common characteristics and sexual dimorphism of a sword tail. So this sword tail belongs to the phylum Chordata and class Pisces, Alder, Teleostae and family Polycidae. So the scientific name goes like this Zip, Ziphophorus hilary. Ziphophorus hilary is the scientific name of sword tail. So let's see the common characteristics. So the common characteristics are it is an ornament fish and it lives in fresh water which can grow up to the length of 14 centimeter so it is somewhat a, la, uh, a half a 30 centimeter scale like 15 centimeters it can attain and it the body is very much narrow and the temperature it can withstand of 18 to 27 degree and also the pH has to be maintained of 7 to 8 that is the pH and the, the lower lobe of caudal fin is elongated or you can see the it is pointed and also the anal fin of the male in sword tail it is like sword like or you can tell the sword how it looks so that is how the name comes the sword tail and the name sword tail is not derived by the from elongated tail fill it is a misnomer the color patterns are different types they are having red color green black yellowish patterns and these are omnivorous and they give birth to their young ones so these are the characteristics and sexual dimorphism of the sword tail so let's move to the next fish that is a goldfish so it is also polycilia the it belongs to the phylum chordates class Pisces, order Teleostae, family it comes to the Cyprinoforms. So this is the classification of the goldfish. So we all are familiar with the goldfish and we are more attracted to this. So let's see the common characteristics and the dimorphism in this fish. So it is also an ornament fish. It belongs to the crab family. So we are having different types of coloration, red, red, white, black in color and it was the one of the earliest fish which was domesticated and it is a cold water fish and it is a native from China. It has no stomach but whereas it cannot digest the excess amount of protein hence it releases large amount of waste. So the fecus producing animal inside the aquarium so be careful so whenever you are feeding large amount so better feed in very less so that it can adjust to the environment and these animals are omnivorous and it is often feeding on the aquarium plants also so it lays eggs and maximum length it can go up to 60 centimeter and weight of 5 kgs or 4.5 kgs and it can live for 20 years so it is fed for twice a day and it can reproduce pigments in light 
so if left in darkness the goldfish turns white so better the light has to be kept on so that the good coloration will get so if you are offing the light and if you are keeping the aquarium in dark condition then this turn this fish turns white in color and the optimum temperature is 20 to 24 degrees celsius and the body is very much short and back is smooth and curved so when you see the uh, picture of this goldfish so you can see near to the tail region how it has curved and the caudal fin is two or three and it is having lobes inside them so you can see these striations and there are number of varieties so these are the varieties of the goldfish that is telescopic eye lion head wild wild oranda then butterfly tail pearl scale blackmore fan tail cleo then comet these are the varieties of fishes or the gold fishes so next moving to the next uh, class so sorry so in this session as we have discussed two uh, types of fishes that is one is sword tail and one more is the goldfish so in this mainly we have studied common characteristics and sexual dimorphism of these fishes so that's all about this session so these are the references which i have referred so thank you